there's the nook and there's a split just above where that termite line is or just below it or to the left of it so they're coming in and out of that split and I can't see an entrance the rest of the way but I'll go down the end We're removing some comb from a tree that's fallen over. Craig's cut the side out. Kevin did some testing and cut through with the handsaw at this end and then did a cut much further up to see if bees came out the hole and they didn't. So that determines the length of the hive. And now we're sucking up the bees into the bee vac and we're keeping a close eye on the queen. There's one day old in a lot of this brood um, so we know she's here, we've just got to keep a very close eye out and grab her with the queen catcher when we see her. Right. Not Top if we see her. And we've got to yes, put the comb into the frames facing the same way up so that they um, are the right way up. And Peter's in charge of putting that together. So there's actually a lot more. Yeah, um, they've been uh, pretty good. They, they've kept them it a And the guys are just saying yeah. there should have been a lot more hive there because it, but, it um, was dropped. Yeah. The tree dropped uh, five days ago, and normally you have a lot of small hive beetle infestation. Um, but there hasn't been. They've seen, is it four? So yeah, four far? or five is all we've seen. That's good. It's good. There's a pinch bar there. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to risk crushing oh, yeah. it. We've spotted the queen, and she's darted back behind that little gap there. Um, wow, that was outstanding spotting by myself. <laughs> it was just the very... Well, you're obviously very flexible with your arms there, Liv, the way you can pat yourself on the back so easily. <laughs> it was um, just the flinting Did it go up here? View of um, it went in that direction. I'm assuming it's gone in here. Ooh, she means business. Oh, she came out, which is interesting. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh. Oh dear. She might be on that. And uh, no. Nope. Now that I might um could dig that out with the knife if you want. Gently. in one of those nooks. Yeah. That's just muck here. Yeah, that can just lift out. Good old termites will loosen it up for you. This is loose. Just here. Uh, big ball of bees. Yeah. 
I reckon. Yeah, I think that's the next best spot. Got to Where's that? Up. You moved that other bit. Yeah, just there. Uh... Let's just um. Oh, Kev. Is she right going through the back here? Oh yeah. She's like all the others. Everybody, can anyone spot it? Come on, Wally, where are you? Oh, the beetle. Chuck. I reckon maybe sucked up. Maybe sucked up. They're not. Well, the thing is, now that we've seen her, we can't actually go till we know she's, we've got her because we know she's here. Right. Last known direction was heading up towards this hole. Up here, then we can play with it. Okay, so we found the queen, we combined them, put the BVAC bees onto the top of the hive, put the frames of brood with the rubber bands in the bottom, and now hopefully they can smell her soon and walk over into the box. The ones that didn't didn't um, weren't in there already. So this is the hive we rescued yesterday, and Craig's just taking out um, the empty foundation frames that aren't needed. Um, Peter's done a great job of rubber banding the existing. Wow, beetle. Um, the existing brood in and there was a lot more brood than we originally thought which was a pleasant surprise um, so now uh, Craig's just gonna combine the stickies um, take a bit of room out so that they can start building a proper brood box instead of um, the super and the brood which is what we had to do to use the vacuum so stickies going in Fill out the gaps in the in the wax. Just checking for the queen. Because this hive, as I mentioned, was a wild hive and the tree had been eaten by termites and fell in the big storm on Sunday, um, it had been laying on the ground for about five days when we got to it. So a small hive beetle will really set up shop in that period of time and they can slime out the wild hive very quickly. So we've put an oil trap in the bottom here and as the bees were climbing up um, into this hive the small hive beetle were climbing up as well so we know we've got a bit of a fight on with the small hive beetle to save this hive and make sure they have as least amount of stress as possible um, and yeah we'll have a look in the trap in a minute ready Debris, beetle. Ah, beetle is alive. A lot of beetle in there, though. It's working. <laughs> More than that. So it doesn't sit flat then. Oh, get him. Got him. Oh, we're getting a lot in there. I'd say this is just a Damn them. Hey, get on a bit of an angle. Get that, that one down. Ground. Yeah, but they're swimming in there. This. Look at him. Look at him go. He's swimming at the bottom of the oil. God, they're nasty little things. Look at him. Literally. He must be good under his breath. The oil. Alright, 
well that's working oh, two just flew all away are they um making an making nest under there uh, they'll just be running around on the little lip mm. oh yeah the bees are chasing me through okay they're kicking them out then Swimming small five beetle. I've never seen that before. Alright, I'll let it. Maybe it needs a little bit more oil. 